I'm Deborah Bortart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. Markets were closed this past Monday to celebrate Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day, so it was a short trading week. Earnings season is starting to pick up. We had a lot of companies release numbers, some official and some unaudited and unofficial. AFRIA reported their first quarter revenue of $69.6 million for fiscal year 2021. This is a 23% sequential increase, and it is their sixth consecutive quarter of growth. They did report a net loss of $5.1 million. However, this is a big drop from the prior quarter's net loss of $98 million. Harborside released preliminary unaudited third quarter results with gross revenue expecting to exceed $18.5 million. Their net revenue in June was $50 million, so they've gone up in revenue. Now, they did not release anything with profits or losses, but keep in mind they had a net loss in June of $1.7 million. You should also remember that their ticker symbol was changed from HSDEF to HBORF. CBDMD released preliminary results for the fourth quarter in the year ending September 2020. Net sales for fiscal 2020 are expected to come in in a range of 417 to 41.8 million. That is way better than fiscal 2019's 23.7 million. They also stated that their net sales for the fourth quarter are expected to come in in a range of 11.5 to 11.7 million, also better than last year's 9.54 for the fiscal 2019 fourth quarter. They also did not release any profit or loss numbers. The Valens company said their third quarter revenue came in at 18.1 million, that's 10% over the 2019 third quarter of 16.5 million. They also delivered a net loss of $3 million. Flower One said that their preliminary third quarter revenue came in at $11.5 million. That was better than their guidance of 9.8 to $10.8 million. So they beat their own guidance. They did not say whether they had any profits or net losses either. Okay. Fundraising is picking up on the private side. Michigan-based, privately-owned Gage Cannabis Company launched a Reg A Tier 2 equity financing round. The company's executive chairman is industry leader Bruce Lynn. You may have heard of him. Gage is hoping to raise about roughly $49 million. And Drop Delivery, a cannabis delivery management solution, raised a million dollars through equity crowdfunding. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt with the Green Market Report.